Hello, Donna here. In this video, I'm going to show you how I've made these paper bag pockets. And how it came about was I was making another project and I needed to use these paper bags up, but I only needed to use the bottom. And then I was had these scraps left over for the top. So I thought, I can't waste them. I know they're only lunch bags you know a lot of people would look at these and think you're crazy they're cheap lunch bags but when you're a junk journaler that's the whole idea of this craft being able to use things that people would normally throw away so in australia we've got a shopping center for food and other bits and pieces called coles I've got these 100 pack 20.3 by 26 centimeter lunch bags. So I was making myself something out of the bottom of the bag and when I cut my shape out, I was left with the top, right? I've told you that. Then I come up with this little double pocket. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you, but I'm gonna start off with two new bags. Get your two bags, put them right on top of each other. Now the measurements I'm showing you are for this particular bag. So you need to adjust it for the size bag you're going to use, but the measurements I'm using on this bag will be in the guide. You also need to take into account how wide you're going to make this because it's got to be able to fit into your journal. So there's no point making it any wider than the page of your journal. All right, so when you put your double pocket together, make sure it fits the page width that you're gonna be gluing it onto. So for this particular paper bag, we need to cut off five and a half inches at the bottom. Now I'm left with two identical pieces of just the top. Now what I'm going to do is have one bag with a folded bottom and one with a raw edge. So to fold the bottom, I'll just do this one first. I'm just going to put my ruler back on and put a half inch fold line. So I'm just going to use my ruler to crease a half inch mark. I'll have this in centimeters in the guide for you. All right now I've got my fold line facing the front of the bag, but that's only temporary. I'm going to turn it over and now I'm going to fold it to the back. I'm also going to snip off the corners up to the fold line. So here's my fold line right there. And I'm just going to snip the corners off up to that fold line. And the same on that side. I'm still facing the back. I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna cut this second piece away so if I open it like that like a seam you'll see that's a piece from the front and this is a piece from the back I'm going to remove it I'm going to cut straight along the fold line and the line does not have to be straight because we're going to cover it over with the other piece I'm not doing anything else but removing bulk so now it's a flat piece and this covers it over. I'm using the Barely Art glue. It's industrial strength, so you do not need a lot of this glue. This paper is very thin as well, so it soaks it up. So it is a very small amount of glue. And flatten that down and see how well it holds. Crease it. So there's our first pocket and it's got a lovely new bottom. 
and we bring this one back in and this one's still got that open bottom so I'm going to turn it around because I'm right handed and I'm just going to seal that with a single small layer of glue from corner to corner and that's the bottom of that pocket sealed all right we'll turn it around again now the one with the fold in it goes on the top the one with the raw edge goes on the bottom then I'm going to sit it with a gap an equal gap like that gap there and that gap there I'm going to put an equal gap here now I'm going to turn this over like a book just turn it over so it's facing the right way we're going to glue the bottom of this to the bottom of that but it's not going to be glued identically there if I glue it identically there see you haven't got that gap we want to have that gap there so that we end up with three pockets this way isn't the way I've designed it so it's going to be shorter here this one will be shorter than that one that is very deliberate so by turning it over this way so we're putting the glue on the bottom of the raw edge pocket all right and then we're going to put the glue across the short edge of the folded edge bottom but on the sides so put the glue on the sides only of the folded edge and the bottom only of the raw edge whoops we don't need that there and don't put any glue on your paper fold line so we need to stop short then line up that gap again making sure your sides are straight and glue that in place and that is why you don't need glue all the way down the bottom because that piece stays exposed and you can see now why this back piece doesn't go all the way down the bottom either it just lays real nice and flat it eliminates the bulk this is not a bulky pocket at all it's perfect for laying flat in your journal it reduces the bulk it's it's a lovely flat laying pocket this size paper bag fits perfectly into a half folded a4 page size journal they're perfect to put flat ephemera in like what i've put in mine is just flat things like a flat piece of paper you know this is just a packaging card but it just shows you that you put flat things in there this is one of my little polaroid photos that i've made it's a fake polaroid so i've got a video on how to make these so i'll, I'll put the link in the description below for that as well you can embellish it however you like this one here i've put receipts in these are real vintage receipts you can use them for envelopes you can put your envelopes in there you know your postcards they're great pockets for anything that's flat that's the whole idea of these to put flat things in them so there's many ways you can embellish your paper bag double pocket and just glue around the edge like that and glue that into your journal so have fun making these up and decorate them any way you like i'm donna thanks for watching and bye for now